Mankind has dreamed of robots for thousands of years, and now it seems that we are on the cusp of major changes in the structure of our familiar world. What is this, a turning point or a fluke? After all, people have been convinced several times before that the era of robots is about to arrive. Will we see a breakthrough or just another Y2K? The hardware for robots themselves is completely ready. Today, there are dozens of droids with lightweight and durable bodies, strong and precise joints, nimble fingers, and sensitive sensors. Try saying that 10 times in a row. Right now, the battle is on for the last piece of the puzzle, a universal artificial intelligence for robots that will give them an understanding of the world and allow them to perform any task as well as a human. Who will develop it first? OpenAI, NVIDIA, Google, or someone else? Today, we take a look at the evolution of humanoid robots and try to look into the future to see if mankind will be able to realize the dream of millennia this time. Strap in, because great Scott, we're about to see one heck of a timeline. Artificial intelligence is everywhere, helping us optimize work and time. Optimization is essential, but it can't be enabled entirely by AI. For example, you should use both AI tools and beneficial service providers to cut expenses. This is why I'm so intrigued by our partners today, Mint Mobile. They help you save money and keep your lifestyle because Mint Mobile is a premium wireless starting at 15 bucks a month. I can get high-speed data and unlimited talk and text on the nation's largest 5G network. Using Mint, I watch videos on the Pro Robots YouTube channel in high quality, and guess what? Forget about buffering. Switching to Mint Mobile is super easy. Thanks to digital eSIM cards, which most phones now have, you can sign up and activate immediately right on your phone from the comfort of your own home. What's more, your phone number and existing contacts will be saved for more cost-effective wireless. If your phone doesn't have an eSIM, Mint will ship you a new SIM card for free. Why did I switch to Mint? The speed and availability of the service were the key factors. So, if you want to save some money and get awesome wireless, go to trymintmobile.com forward slash pro robots, also linked in the description, to get premium wireless for just 15 bucks a month when you purchase a three month plan. Mint Mobile, keep it fresh. The first known prediction of robots dates back to 350 BC. At the time, Aristotle wrote that slaves would one day be replaced by automatons. This idea, or dream, was then tried to be replicated in many different parts of the world over the centuries. For example, in the 13th century, an engineer named Ismail al jazari was designing automata in the east. His robotic waiter poured drinks and carried them out to guests through sliding doors while another automaton was designed to wash hands. In Europe, in the 15th century, automata were developed by Leonardo da Vinci, a brilliant inventor and visionary in the world of technology. In 1495, his mechanical knight, judging by the surviving documents, was able to sit up, move its neck, and raise the helmet's visor with its hand to prove that there was nobody inside. Also preserved to this day are the automatons of the watchmaker Jacquette Droz. For 1774, these dolls that could write, draw, and play music were a marvel. In the 1800s, the Japanese craftsman Hisashigi Tanaka, who laid the foundation for the future of Toshiba Corporation, created many extremely complex mechanical toys. Though they weren't fully-fledged robots, they were far more complex than the first British robot, Eric, presented as a sensation in 1928 at London's Royal Horticultural Hall. The so-called robot stood up and sat down and also made a speech. However, Eric was controlled by two operators and received its voice command via live radio signal. Then there was the Electro Robot, introduced in 1939 at World Fair in New York. It could walk on voice command, say about 700 words, move its arms and head, and of course, smoke. It made an impression, but a significant shift in technology and a new round of interest in robots didn't happen until two decades later, in the 1960s, when Silicon Valley-based SRI International introduced Shaky. 
essentially a tall tower of electronics and cameras on wheels. Shaky, despite its wobbly demeanor, was revolutionary. With its built-in camera and shock sensors, it was the first mobile robot capable of perceiving and reasoning about the world around it. Life magazine in 1970 called Shaky the first electronic man. The world was once again fascinated by the idea of an intelligent robot. In 1966, there was even a commercial for the soon-to-be future, namely a smart and skillful robot housewife, Abel Mabel, which for only 500 bucks was supposed to make the lives of ordinary people more convenient. Its developer, Professor Thring from Queen Mary College, was confident that he could create such a robot and in 10 years it would be in every single home. But, didn't work out. And in fact, despite continuous attempts to create something worthwhile, humanoid robotics stalled until the year 2000, when the Asimo robot was introduced to the world. Developed by Honda, the robot was able to recognize objects, gestures, sounds, and faces, talk and interact with humans. Capable of autonomous navigation, Asimo was intended to be a multifunctional mobile assistant. The robot earned international fame and for many years was considered the world's most advanced humanoid robot. But despite 14 years of development, it failed to become truly useful and the project was closed as unpromising. Nevertheless, engineers all over the world were already seized by the dream of creating intelligent and useful humanoids, especially since the U.S. Advanced Research Projects Agency stirred things into this direction, namely the notorious DARPA's Robotics Challenge, which we've mentioned quite a few times before on this channel. It was held between 2012 and 2015, and even though it did hold an air of disappointment because there weren't any Blade Runner-type products coming out of that thing, Still, around 10 teams from different countries designed and tried to teach full-sized androids a thing or two. In 2016, Boston Dynamics shows up with its Atlas robot. At the time, it was quite impressive. The robot showed tricks, did somersaults, got pushed and shoved with hockey sticks. It was entertaining. But then Boston Dynamics, usually really quiet about things like that, openly declared that the robot can only run and jump. It doesn't have the brains to do anything useful on its own. Admitting to your own weaknesses is the first step to turning them into strengths. Good job, Boston Dynamics. And the company did exactly that this year. When everyone wrote it off, it unveiled a brand new, modern, and really cool version of Atlas. If you haven't seen it yet, make sure to check out our video about Atlas Reborn in the description below. But the really big one showed up in 2021. Then, Elon Musk, who else? came out and said that he would create a universal humanoid robot in a couple of years, which would replace people at his Tesla factories. For demo purposes, he invited an actor in a robot costume, which made the whole world laugh. At the time, almost no one took him seriously. Major media and experts raced against the clock to write scathing articles and give interviews, making Musk look like a weirdo or a brilliant PR man. Both qualities, by the way, are not alien to Elon. But a year later, in 2022, he actually presented the first prototype of the Bumblebee robot, which already walked around the company's office and performed some tasks. Here, too, not without skepticism, but millions of people and dozens of companies thought, what if it works? Musk single-handedly launched reusable rockets into space, which no one had ever done before. Why not robots, right? Interestingly, at the presentation, the head of Tesla said that the main component for robots, namely artificial intelligence, is almost ready. And just a month later, boom, ChatGPT is released. The large language model became a sensation and a real breakthrough in the field of artificial intelligence, generating enormous interest and faith in this technology. After these two events, literally everyone and your grandma became interested in robots and AI. And a real race for humanoid robots began, fueled by one other thing, absolute availability of technology for building humanoid robots. LiDAR, light detection and ranging sensors, tactile sensors, and many other technologies have become smaller, more accurate, faster, and importantly, cheaper. For example, just 10 years ago when Boston Dynamics was putting its Atlas together, a good LiDAR cost about 100 big ones and was the size of a large coffee can. Today, they've shrunk by a factor of 1,000 and suppliers like Luminar have reduced the cost by a factor of 100. Shipping devices to automakers today for a grand apiece with a goal of reaching 500 bucks in the next few years. 
Add to that the significant shift in batteries. After all, battery life is incredibly important for a useful robot. Tesla's clearly being one of the favorites to push this technology for its electric cars. And let's not forget advances in material sciences and other areas. As a result, assembling a physical robot body today has become quite the task for a multitude of companies around the world. In China alone, the number of new humanoid robots will soon number in the dozens. China is stamping new models left and right. But the most promising projects are the ones where the hardware is backed up by AI. In China, the most advanced robot today is probably Walker S from Ubitech. This robot is already produced for industrial use, and the first customer was the Chinese automaker Donfang Lijiu Motor. The humanoid has already been tested on the production line of Neo electric cars, where it helped with quality control and assembly. At its new job with Don Feng, Walker S will apparently not have any coffee breaks. Some of the tasks it's going to perform are checking seat belts, door locks, headlights, frame quality, compartments, vehicle fluids, and more. Walker S will use regular human tools and navigate independently around the shop floor. It's equipped with high-performance servos and a comprehensive sensor system, including vision, hearing, and spatial perception. And where does this perception come from? Why, from another Chinese giant, Baidu. Baidu's AI reportedly lets the robot communicate, reason, and follow commands. Of course, nothing radical has happened yet, and if the robot does indeed do all of the above, it will only be because it has been thoroughly trained. But Ubitech is also working towards creating a general AI for robots in its brand new R&D center in Beijing. It seems like it would be difficult to pose a competitive threat to Walker S, but that's what Figure One Robot does best. The company is backed by OpenAI and Microsoft. OpenAI is developing a new generation of artificial intelligence for the robot, which they hope will become a universal robotic brain. And Microsoft provides Azure cloud services to support the computations of this AI. So far, nothing is known about this semi-mythical system. The only evidence of integration of OpenAI neural network into the figure robot is a video demonstrating humanoids reasoning while performing tasks. But this could well be done with the integration of the current version of GPT, which is multimodal, that is, it can recognize not only text, but also speech and images. So where do we stand with this new AI? No public data is available as of yet. And yes, the company has a tentative agreement with BMW to put Figure 1 to work in their South Carolina plant, but what exactly the robots will be doing there remains unknown. Elon Musk, meanwhile, said that a couple of his robots, direct competitors of Figure and Walker, are already performing tasks at Tesla factories. We talked about Optimus in detail in our previous video, found you know where. One thing that stands out, Optimus is equipped with redundancy and fault tolerance mechanisms similar to those used in Tesla cars, making sure that it can work safely alongside humans. And some sources say it's also loaded with a library of benchmarks of natural human movements. But it's not infinite, and to learn how to act like humans is clearly not enough. However, Tesla has a few aces up their sleeves. For example, production lines, its own tech, batteries on top of their own AI, and a supercomputer to train it. Pundits agree Optimus is a very important stepping stone as a separate business and as the future of Tesla factories. Besides Figure and Optimus, humanoid robots are available from companies such as Boston Dynamics, Agility Robotics, Sanctuary AI, and others. Check out the link to top 10 best humanoid robots, you know where. We have a really good production team, so after watching it, you'll get the impression that robots will come out to work for you tomorrow. But this is not quite true. Despite the fact that the strongest and best funded teams in the world are working on creating brains for robots, they seem to have a problem. To understand its essence, let's look at exactly how they're trying to make robots smart today and why GPT can't just be copied and stuck into a robot's head. True, it was breakthroughs in generative AI that brought new hope for robots. Neural networks learn to write texts like humans, draw pictures, write music, and make music videos on their own. It wasn't fast and it wasn't easy. Obviously, it's still not perfect, but there's no stopping progress here. So why is it practically useless for robots besides them freaking out about having extra digits? To teach an AI how to write, it needs billions of pages of ready-made text. To teach it to draw, billions of pictures, and so on, you, you get the point. What do you need to give a neural network to control robots' movements? 
a lot of examples of performing these actions. So yeah, we see plenty of text, art, and music on the internet, yet not a lot of robots actually doing practical things. Is it possible to overcome these hurdles? We believe yes, because ask and you shall receive it. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. That's what NVIDIA, Google, and OpenAI are actively engaged in right now. But that is a different story altogether. So stay up to date by subscribing, liking our videos, and checking out our Instagram with more news from the world of high tech.